deacons have a first response call ministry that's designed to show the congregation's love and care for our members when they notify us that they've been in the hospital or have had a serious health episode. Janet Johnson and Bert Atwood are the deacons who take care of this ministry. We uh, get an email from one of the pastors that fills us in about who's in the hospital or who has recently been released from the hospital. And after we get that information, we try to call these people. Uh, well, when Tom was in the hospital last week, Janet, Janet Johnson called and said that they were praying for Tom. and. Uh, and then she asked if we would like some soup. And uh, and I said, I said, oh, I didn't know. And then I thought about it and I said, yeah, that would be lovely. So on Monday, she comes to the door and she had this wonderful oh, it was delicious. Uh, it tomato was soup from uh, Grand Traverse. Grand Traverse. Yeah. And pie. Oh, <laughs> the pie. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. Yeah. It, it really was because and, we were in such a state of flux at the yeah, time. Yeah. And uh, it, it really helped out, especially uh, since the, the, the amount of soup they brought was worth two meals. I mean, it was, it was wonderful. <laughs> well, it was, uh, it was uh, great. Yeah. Letting people know that you're not, you're not just by yourself in all this because it's, uh, you are, you know, God's with you, but it's nice to have someone else be, yeah. Be, yeah. be thinking about you and praying with you. And, uh... and what really made us go to the um, soup that we purchased is the pandemic. The pandemic changed everything. And we started the pandemic with using gift cards. We were using the gift cards, right. Yeah, so we couldn't deliver any kind of soup or food at that time because of the pandemic, so we offered gift cards that um, people could then buy whatever they wanted from whatever restaurant that they wanted or a grocery store or whatever. And so, the gift cards still are available if they so desire that. They are, they are. For. And it is so lovely to be able to bring a hot, a hot, a hot um, meal, con a hot meal mm -hmm. to them. It's just very simple, it's not a lot, but I have to say I've done a lot of volunteering in my life and it is probably one of the most satisfying things that I've done. Um, it's just usually a quick little drop off, maybe a little chit chat at the door because people are not feeling well. Right. They've just been released from the hospital typically. Sometimes I'll visit a little bit more, but people seem very grateful and very, um, they just appreciate yeah. that we care and that we're thinking about them. I would say 90% of the people really, the meal, the card, but the call and to know that people are thinking about them and caring for them, yeah. that means a lot. Just make sure that your information in the congregational uh, listing directory is up to date. Otherwise, we, we have a difficult time getting hold of you because of the HIPAA. Mm -hmm. We can call the office and nine times out of 10, they're doing the due diligence. They won't give out the information. So if the directory is correct, we're good. We are so glad to be able to offer this ministry to people who could use a little extra care and contact. But we can only help to the extent that we know who has been sick or is in the hospital. So please keep the office or pastors updated and make sure we have your latest contact information.